We've got another big heat for you right now, but uh, it is time to welcome a very special guest to the booth, one of our favourites to join us on the commentary panel. Mason Ho, how are you? Looks to have some of that same energy that saw him through to a second place finish at the first event of the year, hammering down the line. And he's going to launch for us. Gets the rotation, silky smooth. Take it, take it through this one. Go okay, on. always perfect form right there. I like that perfect form slam. Perfect form reform. I mean, perfect form uh, roller coaster. Perfect form little check blast. And then perfect form reversal. Love it. Amazing uh, the coaster. way he generates speed. Yeah, I like how he's always staying really low and in the pocket. He's always like, even his check turns are all critical and stuff. And I love it when he does that stuff. Ever since I was younger, he's always been one of my favorite surfers. And, and then now that he's getting older and... Ooh, this is... Now he's getting older and he's, um... He's just killing all these, like, uh, opportunities. Right in the groin. <laughs> But here we go, yeah. Seth Monis, and uh, we haven't spoken about him yet, but he's uh, obviously a kid whose career you've followed very closely. Yeah, he's one of my, like... Didn't have much wall to work with, Pete, but he got some real turns done. Got he himself did. a heat win. He did. And out it? the back right now, actually, we've got live action. Solly Bailey. Oh, wild air. Extended air. It's nice. I don't, I don't know how to put it in short, but it's kind of just like a rags to riches story and... Ooh, there's Soli. And just like an inspirational, like, surf tale, you know, and it, it's... So awesome oh. to check out and uh, definitely have a look at the Mad Steve's Rip Curl Range. And here we go, Seth Monis. He's up. Come He's on, Seth, the boy. Half the crowd down here on the point at Winky has the oh. same surname as this guy at the moment. He is travelling with a big posse. We were talking earlier on, the previous heat, just about air reverses and, and just how frequently you see him. And it just feels like the flip is a move we're going to start seeing a lot more. And Seth is one guy that, that strike rate is starting to improve with those kind of moves. Totally. And we've got him up at the moment, looking for a good finish on this one. Banks it off the foam and does well to kick the tail on that last section. So just under 16 minutes to go. We only needed a 4.85, Pete. Is he going to get the number? Yeah, well, we'll see. Um, your judges are pretty tough these days. They want you to be doing some uh, amazing surfing from start of the wave to the finish. He finished really strong there. But, I mean, you think about his Vans U.S. Open performance at that QS 10,000, and that really was uh, the, the point where he jumped into a solid top 10 finish. It was one air that got him through a, a big heat. If you watch the replay here, this wave a little fat on the outside, so it was a little slopey, not a critical section, but here he finds it. So I think that'll affect the score. You know, you want to have those critical sections throughout the entire wave to get bigger numbers. But uh, he worked as, as much as he could, but there was that middle part that was a little slow. Yeah. I like how Seth surfs. He gets. I like when he's turning. He he has all these angles of turns. You'll see him do the really vertical turn. I mean, I don't even want to think what that did or how strong he's thinking in his head. You know, or like he, he must be having fun. Cause then I think it starts turning into fun once you like pass that little weird pressure thing. Oh, you're so. Solid Bailey. Oh. Big front side cutty to finish that right off. It's the innovation and progression, not only above the lip but on the rail. And it seemed to me that he did that on both those maneuvers. Seeing Sully Bailey now on the replay. I like that. Just something different on the end set. Rather than just uh, looking for that ramp, goes to the rail. And Dino up at the moment. Mason Ho's pick for the 2019 world title. And he is looking sharp. But I, I love what you said. Just uh, And Dino definitely has the ability to kind of pick the best bits of, of different surfers and apply it to his own game. Uh, I do have to say this, though. I don't know whose beard he's getting inspiration from, but maybe he needs to address that. <laughs> oh, my needs God. To That's why my friends love that thing you, up a little bit. <laughs> You're <laughs> twisted. <laughs> Just over 10 minutes to go. We're watching the replay of Andino on his last ride. Should definitely up the ante here, Pete. I would say so. You know, again, sizable set wave that was nice and clean on the face. So it gave him opportunity to pull these moves off, and you get combination of major moves. A nice, nice uh. carving snap, and then the air reverse. Easily pulled, no worries. He's getting these experiences. And the thing about what he's been able to do as we watch him again here live. Yeah, is that, uh, loading up. Not he, man. he is, you know, you think of, you know, a California kid. How is he going to be able to, to handle Hawaii? And then before that, Tom Curran rung the bell a couple of times. But what year did Richie win? Richie Collins won in 92. 
92. The, uh, beat sick. Martin Potter in the final. Not sick. <laughs> 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 nah, I mean sick always. But. And Potts had seven minutes to get a score. Getting into the, the mid five, I think. And Richie came back and the ocean won. Went, the ocean oh. went dead. Oh, <laughs> no, he, there was no no more waves, and Richie won oh. in the hospital. <laughs> oh, yeah. Warrior. Solid Bailey chasing a number. Needs a three nine seven out of this ride. Still has the momentum to get down the line. Surfing with a lot of speed at the moment. Needs a big finish here. Loads up. And there is that little drift at the tail. Maintains control. But I think this is going to be enough for Soli. I think he is going to move into second position here. Strong enough, just the maneuvers and the speed. And again, the, the you know third wave of that set. Look how clean it is. You know, we're getting to see you know, the freshness of a, of a new surfer on tour and, and kind of dissect their style. You know, Soli is, again, one of those surfers that obviously can win at a place like Pipeline. So we know he can get it done in the barrels, but he can also get it done on the face and above the lip. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be plenty enough to get himself uh, into second. Exactly. It's kind of got like that sunset vibe to me. Like you can either get really psyched on it or, or you can get really bummed and eggy on it. Super easy. But um, I mean, I don't see how guys get bummed and eggy over here at Bells, but bang. Oh, set on I, mean, I love all round. you guys, but yes. Yeah, this heat's cool. I like all three of these guys a lot. Well, there's that set. He's almost got that two-turn combo. Yes. Two and a half minutes to go. Blow is up again. Just wants to make sure of progressing out of this round directly through the round of 32. Oh. It is. Those loss, those mayhems are looking mental. Really, really nice flow. He brings this one right through to that inside shelf, just carefully picks his equipment up so that it doesn't touch the rocks there. That, like Medina's, had a punch to it, a bit of power unloaded. It wasn't yeah. just a, a cheap yeah, spin. Not like, yeah. Well, in the section, right, if you get yourself a punchy section, that's a, almost a power error, you know, and he was able to do that. He literally hit the lip and then spun the tail walked into reverse. You see Kaloe again. You know, I touched on the fact that he, had, you know, he has been putting in these all. I have to say that this wave can reminisce the lowers right. You know, it does have some similarities, similar transition. So you would say that he could kind of apply those, you know, those uh, experiences from his home break. Catch it, catch it. I, I. Yeah, this I know. Catch it, catch it. No, but oh man. And they're wigging out a little bit because Solly's got an opportunity here. He's going to need a, a solid hit on the inside. Only needs a three, six, seven. Surfed it well oh, for what it was. Ooh. Oh, Seth might have got into this one in time too, Pete. So he answers back. Under pressure, this guy's been so impressive as a rookie. Well, you so figure in a family with uh, as large as the Bonises, <laughs> you have handle to be, pressure. You huh? can handle the pressure. <laughs> And Dino's going to run away with it. But it's going to be a battle for that second spot. And Seth gave Solly an opportunity in the final stages there.